Officer, please stand up here with Pastor Dixon. If you wouldn't mind holding the enough flag. I want to tell you about Joanne, okay? It's too bad we don't have any press in here taking pictures. Oh, we got a camera. We might want to come, come on over on this side of the podium. I know how this stuff works. You deserve the limelight. Today is National Gun Violence Awareness Day. That's why I'm wearing orange. That's why they're wearing orange. Okay, 2003 to 2014 in South Carolina, more people died in this state from gun violence than Iraq and Afghanistan combined. Mm -hmm. Let that sink in for a few minutes. 2003 to 2014, more people died from gun violence in our state than all the combat deaths in Afghanistan and Iraq by 20%. Let that sink in. The National Rifle Association doesn't work within the Constitution. They think they're bigger than the Constitution. Joanne Hafter here lost her daughter. How did she lose her daughter to gun violence? Somebody lost their gun, or it was stolen. stolen. It was stolen, it was not reported stolen. That gun ended up killing her daughter. She has worked tirelessly for the last decade plus to introduce something called Lizzie's Law that would make it a requirement that if your gun is lost or stolen within a 24-hour period, it must be reported to police. I don't know about you, but that seems like common sense to me. Yeah. Her life has been threatened for putting forward that bill that was introduced and read for the first time. Right? Who? who? Gilda Cobb Hunter was somebody that supports that bill. Seth Whipper. Seth Whipper. All right, introduced the bill. It's had one reading. Her life has been threatened. She has been stopped. The victim of gun violence has been stalked by people who have threatened her with gun violence. That's absurd. They followed me to the cemetery. They followed her to her daughter's gravestone and threatened her. I guarantee you that when I go to Congress and then when Pastor Dixon is elected to the Senate, we will work tirelessly to make sure that Lizzie's law isn't just introduced in South Carolina, but that it becomes a national law and all other sorts of common sense gun regulation. By the way, the fake Democrat on the June 14th primary is entirely opposed to gun reg regulation. Well, he's been exposed as a fake Democrat already. You know that. That's why the South Carolina Democratic Party endorsed us on Thursday, only the second time in history. So I want you, Joanne has worked so hard, has shed so many tears for so long. But guess what? Unless we go to the polls on June 14th, you won't have my voice going forward to talk about Joanne Hafter and Lizzie's Law. Instead, you'll have a Tea Party Republican wearing the banner of Democrat. So I'm looking at every single person in this room. There's about 40 of you. You have the ability to impact history starting today. You can walk out of here, give up Netflix, give up the ball game, Give up the gardening, or the club, or euchre, or whatever it is, for 12 days of your life and get out there and tell people about June 14th. Right. You're gonna have an impact on history. You don't think the country's gonna be watching me rail against status quo Joe Wilson for the next four months? It's gonna be one of the most watched races in the nation. He's done absolutely nothing, and they are terrified of somebody who's gonna speak charismatically on these issues. I guarantee you they are. I'm gonna be there to provide coverage and a voice of support for the presidential nominee. We don't need to worry who that will be. It will be somebody. And I will be saying we need to vote and support that person. We need to make sure Donald Trump does not become president of the United States at all costs, or we won't have this opportunity 12 months from now. Or there never will be an opportunity for a Lizzie's Law. You walk out of here today